Modern Warfare 3 has a number of ways that you can achieve nearly perfect movement. Now that can come from abusing glitchy movement, maybe changing a few settings, and even just knowing in-game secrets. In this guide, we're going to go over all of that, but first let's start off with the settings. So if you own a default controller so you don't have back buttons, what I want you to do is take a look at the button layout preset and just check out L1 button jumper tactical. What this allows you to do is jump with your L1 button, but now you can also slide with your R3 button. So why that's helpful is because you no longer have to take your right thumb off the controller. So you can now continue to aim while you're mid gunfight. So now the next setting I want you guys to look at is the automatic tack sprint. Me personally, I don't like it and I don't use it because I like to have full control over my character. So instead what I do is I change tactical sprint behavior to single tap run. So now what I can do with this is I can go to attack sprint from hitting the run button one time. And basically what that does is when you go from attack sprint to either a jump or a slide, it increases that velocity of it. And now if you scroll down from here, if you guys plan on playing multiplayer only, I would say change this to slide only. But if you're planning on playing the brand new Warzone, I would say keep this on tap to dive. At the end of the day, it's pretty much personal preference on what you guys prefer. But for me, going from a dolphin dive into a parachute is, is super important for Warzone. And now before we move on to the last setting, what I want you guys to turn off will be ground mantle, automatic airborne mantle, and then this one as well. So the reason why you want to do that is because your character will no longer automatically mantle anything around him. Like you will now have complete control over that. So now for the last setting, what you guys want to do is go to interface and then go over to crosshairs. And then from here, turn on center dot. Now this is important because when you're performing movements like sliding or jumping, this dot will stay on your screen so you know where your center dot is. So let's first talk about how to reset your tag sprint. So right now, the only way I really know how to do it is by dolphin diving. That seems to be the most effective after your guy comes out of the tag sprint. Or what you could do is come to a complete stop and then take like a step backwards and then go back into your tag sprint. As of right now, those are the closest ways of actually having a full tax sprint reset. So the first piece of movement I want to talk about is obviously the slide cancel. So in this game, it's very simple. What you need to do is slide, jump, and then aim. And you want to make sure that you press these buttons pretty quickly together because what happens when you don't is that you're going to get into attack stance. So that's pretty much where your character holds the gun sideways and you pretty much leave your accuracy up to RNG or whatever attachments you have for hip fire. So basically you're gonna be less in control of how many shots you're able to hit and that's exactly what you don't want. So since we're already on the topic of sliding, I want to remind you guys that you get a crazy speed boost when you're going down steps or if you're even sliding downhill. This is really good for getting around people or just breaking their camera view. So now let's talk about probably the most broken thing I can teach you guys today and that's gonna be snaking. So what snaking is, is when you sprint into a head glitch and then from there, what you wanna do is pull back on your character while pressing the crouch button. And then you repeat the steps by sprinting back into the head glitch, pulling back and crouching. And you just keep repeating that process. The reason why this is broken is because you get the peeker's advantage so you can see everything that's going on in front of you while also making yourself a super hard target to hit and then another reason why i say it's broken is because you don't really need a head glitch to actually make this move effective you can snake any wall or corner that you want and then along with that you can even take it a step further when you're doing your snaking button combination and you're in the motion of sprinting forward, what you want to do is move forward and jump out of your crouch. This is going to make your character leap up like a frog. That movement tech is brand new to Modern Warfare 3, and you will see a lot of players using it once they find out about it. So now this is a perfect time to talk about drop shotting. Drop shotting is really good in Modern Warfare 3, but you can take it a step further by doing what the pros do. So when you watch pro Call of Duty players, what they like to do is drop shot into a corner. So the main two reasons why it's effective is because usually people never drop shot into a corner for a reach out. They usually either slow peek out of it or they jump out of it. So for one, a lot of people will not expect it. And number two, which is more important, is that the only part of your character that is being shown is half of their head. So now moving on from that, let's talk about edge diving. This is where you dolphin dive onto a corner of a ledge. So if you do this correctly, what's going to happen is that your character will go from a dolphin dive to then fully standing up with his ADS ready. For one, this is going to help maintain your momentum. And like I said, you're going to have your ADS ready. So it's also going to help you get those first shots off. And then just think about it from the enemy's point of view. You see a guy going from a dolphin dive to fully standing up in the snap of a finger. And now the last piece of movement I want to go over is jump shotting. So there is no longer bunny hopping in the game. Bunny hopping is where you just continue to jump and you keep your momentum. So in this game, what you want to do is just jump into a gunfight one time or just jump around a corner one time. But after that, do not continue to jump. You lose all momentum and movement as soon as you try to go into another jump. So if this video helps you guys out in any way, just make sure you guys drop me a like on the video and be sure to subscribe because my next video is going to be how to improve your aim. And then from that point on, we're going to do how to level up the quickest, camo guys, and just everything to do with Modern Warfare 3.